Hey guys, so it is a pretty rainy and like dreary day here. Um, so this room is kind of dark, but it looks like the video should be fine and I might be able to tweak the uh, color just a little bit. So it's a little bit brighter when I edit, but I might not need to. But what I had in mind to do today was a little clove and hollow look. Um, they recently released their cheek product collection, a series of bronzer colors, powdered bronzers, um, pressed powdered bronzers. They have their Hydra Tint, which is their blush, and then their Hydra Glow, which is their highlighters. And Clove and Hollow is a company that I love. I've done a couple of videos for them already. I did a demo of their foundation, um, and then I did a lip swatch video of their lipsticks, and I'm also going to film today a lip swatch video of their lip glosses. Um, at least most of them. I have five. The other one I wasn't interested in. So I'll be filming that today too. So what I thought I would do today, since I went ahead and picked up all of the new Clove and Hollow products to try, I got one um, color of each. So I got one Hydra Glow, one Hydra Tint, and one of the bronzers. Um, I would go ahead and just do sort of like a mostly full face of Clove and Hollow. Um, I did accidentally receive a concealer of theirs. Um, I had ordered a bunch of their stuff and they'd sent me two concealers instead of two powder foundations. And when I alerted them to it, they told me to keep the concealers and they were just gonna send me the foundations. So I did pass on one of the concealers already, but I kept one just in case I felt like trying it. I know I said I wasn't going to, and I don't know how much I'm actually gonna use this. It does have dimethicone in it, which I do stay away from because it tends to clog my pores and my skin is actually looking <laughs> really good lately and I don't want to like do anything to jeopardize it so I figure I might you know do a little under eye concealing because my under eyes are just dark and nasty. Oliver's also awake so he's in here with he's uh around for this video so I thought I would go ahead and do this too. The only products I don't have that are clove and hollow because they don't exist are brow and mascara so I'm just going to use a couple of uh, Pacifica products for that. I'm not doing any eye stuff today. I just don't have the patience for that. And um, Clove and Hollow also doesn't currently have any eye stuff, but I think they're actually working on some eye stuff that's going to be released next year, I think. Um, I don't work super close with them, and I'm an affiliate for them, but um, I didn't get sent any of their cheek products when they released. Um, they think they've only sent me like a lipstick and a gloss over like the whole course of the time that I've been um, an affiliate for them. So I've bought the majority of the Clove and Hollow stuff myself because I do really like the company. I really like the ingredients. Um, they're affordable. They're good quality. And so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to do a little under eye concealing first. I've never used this. Um, I swatched it on the back of my hand. The coverage is actually pretty good. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this and they say that they really, really like it. So um, I'm going to give it a try underneath my eyes because that's really the only place that I need super concealing because the, co the foundation coverage is actually really, really good. If you watched my demo um, of, the, of the powder foundation, you would see how high coverage the foundation actually is. And you'll see it again today when I do it, but I don't really need a ton of concealing when I do it. But I figure I would just go ahead and do um, a little bit underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go wet a beauty blender and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I actually forgot what I'm gonna do first. Can I see this, please? Oliver's trying to take my stuff. I'm gonna do the Blasomo Photo Tonic Light Shifting Solution. It's their newest release. It's a facial sunscreen. It looks like it has a little bit of a tint, but it's not, uh, Oliver's throwing stuff at me. It's not really a tint. It's got axisanthin in it, so it's just the color from the axisanthin. So as you'll be able to see, it doesn't actually, um, tint my skin at all. There's like no coverage or anything. So I have been playing around with this for the last couple of weeks since they sent it to me. Um, I've been trying it out and I am really liking it. It's got a lot of like hydrating ingredients in it and it's, it almost feels like it's got like a little bit of a water base. I didn't bring the ingredients in here. I think it's aloe based, but it does have things like cucumber and other sort of like water based ingredients in it. But that's sort of like the priming step that I'm doing before I do any concealing or foundation or anything like that. I like to do like an SPF or some kind of like color correcting something. Um, usually I'll use like the Redness Rescue Cream, but I honestly don't even think I really need it today. My skin is like not, it's not been super terrible lately and, and I definitely credit it to the skincare I've been testing out. All right, so let's do a little, concealing first. Now this is, this stuff was pretty high coverage, so I'm gonna try not to use a ton 
and uh, see see how it goes. I'm just using it under my eyes. I'm not going to use it anywhere else. So I'm using the shade three. Um, which is also the shade I use the foundation in. I'm just do my eyes a little bit too since I've got some on the beauty blender. So yeah, you can see, I mean I should have I should have just done one eye first and then the other eye so you could see the difference. But I think you can you can tell you can tell <laughs> tell the difference from one eye to the other. Oliver. So yeah, that's um, pretty decent coverage. I mean, the bags under my eyes are this kid. <laughs> I mean, the bags under my eyes are just like pretty intense, so there really is like no hiding them, but at least it, it color corrected uh, like the purple out pretty well in my opinion. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. I really feel no need to like go in and uh, do any more coverage. Oliver's rubbing his face with my brushes. So if you've been interested in the Cloven Hollow uh, concealer, I mean definitely give it a try. I've seen a lot of people who really really like it. I mean the coverage is really decent. It just depends on how you feel about silicones and um, I mean, the ingredients in it, the rest of the ingredients are really nice. And the silicone is like more towards the bottom of the ingredient list, so there might even not be that many or that much silicone in it. So yeah, anyway, that's what, can I, can I take this one? Give me this one, you can keep that one. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for concealing. I really feel no need to conceal any other part of my face. Um, like I said, my skin is acting pretty good at the moment, so, and the coverage on the foundation is really, really decent. So this is my second pan of foundation, actually. I finished up my first pan a few weeks ago. I love this stuff. This is my favorite pressed foundation. Uh, my favorite loose foundation is the Modern Minerals one, as you guys know. Those both give me really, really good coverage. The color match is really good on both. And what I like about this one too is there's not a ton of kickback in the pan. Like I've used a lot of um, pressed powder foundations where there's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of kickback, so it's very, very powdery. This one is like super compact. Oliver's putting makeup on. Um, super compact in the in the pan and it actually lasts okay get, you're done it actually lasts a really long time like I think I'm trying to remember when I did um, that review the demo of the, of the foundation because I think it was a first impressions because I had just gotten it in the mail I feel like it might have been like April so I think the pan lasted me a good six months I mean <laughs> I don't wear makeup every day, and I did switch it off between um, the, this one and the Modern Minerals, and it did last me quite a while. Anyway, um, very long-winded of way of saying I really, really love this foundation. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is my second pan of it. But as you saw, or can see, the coverage on that is really, really good. So I'll link below. Um, the whole demo video I did. In case you want to see like a side-by-side -side and me doing the whole thing um, from start to finish, even though you, you really sort of just did as well. So um, yeah, that's the powder foundation. I am going to go ahead and use um, setting powder. I usually always do. I mean, you probably, it really just depends on you if you feel the need to use a setting powder um, with a powder foundation, but I always do. I'm trying to finish up this well people when I've got to. But I always like to sort of put a setting powder on top that has a little bit of like a blurring effect to sort of help with my uh, large pore situation. Here he goes again. And then to sort of set everything, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator. All right, so since I'm not doing anything with my eyes, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. Uh, and eyelashes real quick 
All right, so let's start with the bronzer. I went ahead and I got the color Cabo, which is the uh, the lightest shade. I don't do like a ton of like bronzing, contouring, whatever you guys know. So I usually only, I go with like the lightest shade and whatever bronzer thing. And I did also pick up a second compact. Um, I like these, I like these compacts. So I'm just gonna take like a sort of um, stippling dual fiber brush. And I'm gonna, just gonna do like a light, like a light bronzing. Like a light bronzing. Just to warm up the face just a tiny bit. The one that I've been liking a lot is the Lily Lolo contour and highlighting palette. Um, I showed that in my summer, my favorite summer get ready with me, but I've misplaced it <laughs> or Oliver's taken it somewhere. All right, so this is one side with uh, the bronzer and then one side without. So I do a light, I, I'm very light on the bronzing because it's not something that I'm like super good at. Half the time I just, I end up looking like dirty or like whatever. <gasps> so I have a very light hand when it comes to the whole bronzing thing. There he goes. So I like this color. It's not, um, it doesn't come off orangey or red. It's like a very sort of like neutral bronzy color. I really like it, actually. I like it. Definitely is good now that I've lost my Lily Lolo one. I thought about picking that one back up. Cause, and then I'm sure like as soon as I buy it, I'll find it again. But I really like this one. It'll last forever. Cause I mean, you use so little of it. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I really like the color. It's like nice and nice and light. All right. So let's do the next new thing, which is their Hydra Tint, um, which is their blush. Now this is a very different style of blush. They want it to be different. They didn't want to do like another pressed blush, um, or like a, like a pan of blush or whatever. Um, or like a stick. Woo! They wanted to do something different. So it's like, it looks like nail polish. It's very interesting. So it's an ultra blendable blush serum infused with meadow foam oil and hyaluronic acid for a healthy uh, hydrated flush. So it only comes in four colors right now. The one that I was the most attracted to was Nakey, which is sort of like a neutral color, which is sort of what I, I am very attracted to anyway. Um, so it says, shake before use, apply directly to cheeks, and blend with fingertips. Um, I have played around with this a little bit on the back of my hand just to sort of figure out like how much you actually need. I'm going to start with one cheek first, and then I've got um, a beauty blender or a blending sponge if I need to sort of like blend it out a little bit. So let's do this cheek first. I'm just going to do like three, three swipes. Because like, and that might even not be quite enough. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Actually three swipes might've been like perfect. Look at a different mirror here. Yeah, I really like that actually. I mean, you could build it up really, really easily. What do we think? It's like a very natural flush color. So I start it with my fingers. And then once it's mostly blended in, I just take the uh, sponge. I might have to do a little bit more on the other cheek. I think I did more on this cheek than I did <laughs> the first one. Is 
that blended a lot easier and more seamless than I thought it would. Sometimes I have a hard time with like cream blushes because like you swipe it on and it like disturbs your makeup. I'm not seeing that that's an issue. I'm gonna just do like a tiny bit more on the other cheek to sort of even it out. Yeah, I am actually pretty impressed with that. Um, I really, really like it. It hasn't disturbed the foundation. It looks really like natural. Um, so yeah, I really, <laughs> I really like that. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about that because it's such like a different it's a different concept than like anything you've ever seen before. I've like, I've never seen blush in like a nail polish tube, but I really like that. I hope she comes out with um, some like brighter colors because the ones that were on the screen were more like sort of mauve-y, like neutral colors. Um, I forget exactly what I was saying. I had to get up and get all of our snacks. He was like head hanging out in the fridge. Um, but I think the color, I think I was saying the colors that they have are more like natural, um, neutral colors are more like mauve-y, like rose colors. I'd love to see like a orangey blush. Or like a hot pink. I mean, you guys know how I like those. So yeah, um, so far I'm really, really loving this cheek collection. Really loving this cheek collection. Okay, one more thing. And then um, lips after that. So this is the Hydra Glow. I picked the one that I think that I, would, uh, I liked the most. It's a little bit pinkier than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, I thought it was going to be more like champagne. But this is another multi-purpose glow serum infused with meadow foam oil and hyaluronic acid. I love that they're um, formulated with super hydrating ingredients to like keep the skin like looking and feeling really like plump and lovely. Um, so you can shake, so shake before use, gently squeeze dropper cap for the appropriate amount of product, apply to bare skin as a primer, mix with moisturizers or foundation bases, or blend directly onto high points of face, which is what we're going to do today. I could definitely see this being really, really pretty, um, like mixed in with a moisturizer or something. If you're having a day where you, um, oh shoot, oh Jesus, I used way too much, um, where you, um, aren't going to wear a lot of makeup. All right. Well, I overdid it. <laughs> I used way more than I know that I'm going to need um, and again I'm gonna take the beauty blender and sort of like blend it out once it's on the cheekies I don't know how much to use All right, what do we think? This one's a little bit harder for me to tell what's even happening in this mirror that I'm using. I think this one's a little bit more difficult to blend than the blush was. Or maybe it's just the way that I placed it on my cheek. I'm gonna have to play with this one definitely a little bit um, to sort of perfect the uh, application of it. But if like say the Maya Chia highlighter of the day is something you've been wanting to try but maybe it's a little bit out of your price point, this would be sort of like a dupe I think. They're both vegan except for the newest shade Afternoon Delight it has Carmine in it. These are all vegan. Um, I definitely think that these are a little bit more affordable and you get sort of like the same glowy quality, the same good ingredients. Well, not the same, not all the same ones. Um, some of them. Let's do a little bit, maybe like here, a little bit on the nose, just a little, a little bit here. But yeah, that is, that's pretty too. I definitely, I think for like an everyday, an everyday look for me would be more of a champagne color. Um, 
But I think this one is pretty. I like it with the blush. And I do like the way that they feel on my face. They, they don't feel... They really don't feel like I'm wearing makeup at all. It doesn't feel like cakey or thick or anything. I really... I'm more impressed with the cheek collection, collection that I thought I was going to be. Um, yeah, I really like this. I, I like all of these things. And I definitely would be very, very interested in picking up more shades in the future um, if they release more colors that I'm more attracted to. I mean, these ones are these ones are definitely pretty. I might have to, I might look into the other Hydra Glows to see what the other colors were. I can't remember now what the other colors were. Um, but the blush, I mean the bronzer, I'm not going to pick up any of the other shades of bronzer, but I'd definitely be interested in picking up that blush in more shades because I really like, I really like the way that that feels on my skin. Like it hardly even feels like I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the rain is stopping and the sun's going to come out for the last part of this video. Um, so let's finish up with lips. I brought two lip options in here because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I brought Desert Rose in here, which is a more neutral pink, but I don't know if I want to go neutral. Then I brought Blooming, which is a more... Mm, do I want to go Blooming? Maybe I'll just go neutral. I'll just make it sort of like an entire like rose video because the, the blush is pretty neutral. I'll just go a neutral. Neutral lip. All right, so... That's gonna be the end of my Cloven Hollow new cheek product first impressions, I guess, and um, just my whole Cloven Hollow look for the day. I mean, I really love, I really love this line, and um, these are really pretty. So, so yeah, that's really all I've got for this video. I did also film a lip gloss swatch video so if it's up already I will go ahead and link it down below I'm not sure which one of these I'm gonna post first but I filmed them at the same time since I was doing a whole cloven hollow thing today anyway and um I hope that you guys enjoyed let me know if you've ever tried cloven hollow or if you plan on trying cloven hollow I think I have a coupon code that you can use down below if you want um and if I do I'll leave it down below um but I think you also get a coupon if you sign up for their email list I'll leave any information that I have about coupons down below because <laughs> um, I'm all about saving money too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next one.